In this video, let's go over updating your marketing profile inside of Command. So I'm here inside of Settings, which you get to by clicking your name and going to Settings. And then under Connect Settings, you'll find your marketing profile. This marketing profile is what provides the marketing on all of our system uh, resources, from your websites to your consumer app that's coming out, emails, everything that comes out is going to use this data. Designs all comes from here. So we're going to come to Marketing Profile and come in here. By the way, if you're using your website, you have to make sure that this is on. It should be green. So if your website is not branded to you for any reason and reverts back to a generic KW, this is why you have to flip the switch on. For compliance reasons, we want to make sure that every agent set up their marketing profile with their legal requirements, and that is why the switch is here. So mine's on. Then you're going to upload your photo. So I've already got my photo here. Now notice it is a circle effect on it. So my advice would be truly to upload a square photo. However, there is the ability to crop your photo and make sure that it's center inside the tool if you upload your image there. Then you've got your option for team logo. Now, even if you're not a team, this could also be called a brand logo. So if you're branding yourself as an agent, you might have a great logo about you, your initials, or something cool that you want to put. I had an agent who wanted his picture on everything as the team logo. So you could technically put that here. However, sometimes the team logo is going to be next to your picture, and then it would be a duplicate picture. So here we have a team logo. Now, it does say recommended size 360 by 360. Now, the recommendations here, however, you now can actually upload an image that's not 360 by 360. So I know it's hard to see here with my image. However, this is my team logo in kind of a three to one ratio um, that is uploaded here and on the new consumer site, it looks great. So that's one thing you can do is actually not just use a square version of your logo. You could have more of a uh, rectangle version of your logo there now. So then you're going to update your details. Hopefully everyone knows their name. Um, if you have your license number, you can enter that here. Team name, this also has in, a, in the website version of the marketing profile tool where it's also your brand. So it could be your name, Realtor with Keller Williams Realty. It could be your team name. So I chose my team name with Keller Williams Realty Professionals to show up on everything. Then it asks for your designation and credentials. So I have Realtor, you could say real estate agent, real estate consultant. You can add, if you're a uh, you know, GRI, any of these different designations and credentials you can add there. And then your biography. Now, this is not meant to be an autobiography of 30 pages. This should be kind of your elevator pitch. What do you stand for? What's your goal? So that's what I have here in mind. Then you're going to add your mobile phone number. And it does ask for office number. Now, in certain states like Florida, it's not required to have our office number. So technically in Florida, I could put my cell because KW isn't a typical real estate office. We tend to have the agent's cell phone be their main number. So that could go there. You can enter a fax number if you want. And then you've got your email address and your website. When you add your website, by the way, please note you have to have this HTTP in here or it might give you an error message. So I've already got that entered in here and I just went to my website, by the way, and copied and pasted the link here. Then you get to your marketing uh, center logo. So I've already got the office logo. Now it looks weird here because remember, this was intended for me to have a square version of it. I actually just uploaded the direct file. Um, the one you want, by the way, is a PNG. So check out our other video on how to download the office logos from KDB Connect and look for the PNG file, which will have a clear background. So that's what I have here. And that shows up on the website perfectly in a larger size than this square because the square version of our logo really makes it tiny. Then you're going to have your brokerage name. Now, this was decided by KW. Every time I change this and I go into another part of the system, it kind of reverts back to the market center's name with Keller Williams. It does actually require now that you have market center brokerage number because some states require that. And like I said, in other states, if it's not required, you can change that to whatever number you would want somebody to contact to get a hold of the market center or the office. Then you add your address, and then if you have your market center or brokerage license number, you can put that here. So I added my broker's number here for my market center. Now, legal footer, and this is now blank. I used to teach you to go to kdb.com and copy that. However, our new websites already have that at the bottom of 
the website. So I don't have to have that duplicated. This is intended if you have a special legal footer. And if you are in a state that requires extra legal footers and extra links, don't worry. If you do the agent sites marketing profile, they have an expanded version of this where you can add more links to that. So mine is blank because it's already on the KW website. Then you can add your social media links. So I added my Facebook. I don't use Twitter anymore. Instagram's more personal for me. YouTube I haven't used on the consumer side in a while. I got to update that and you can put your LinkedIn if you want there. If you have your Facebook pixel, you can add it here. However, I find sometimes it disappears. So we're still working on that. And then if you have a Google Analytics idea, they can go there as well. And the most important one, I think at the end, your branded KW app link. So everybody's going to have the same beginning part, app.kw.com. This is what makes your app unique, and this will put the link on your websites, the emails, and everything. So that's the marketing profile. Fill it all out. You can keep coming back and make changes if you need to. Click save, and you are done with your marketing profile, which will update on the consumer app, websites, and everywhere. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on YouTube or KDB Connect today.